New at five, hundreds of employees left unpaid for their work. Black News Channel filed for bankruptcy last month, and since then, workers have reported not getting paid for weeks. And while the company is based in Florida, dozens of its workers live here in Atlanta. Our Joe Ripley looking into the claims and learning why the company doesn't have to pay the employees, at least not right away, Joe. Yeah, that's right, Jennifer. Right now, the fate of Black News Channel lies in bankruptcy court. Because the company filed bankruptcy, Chapter 11, the court now has authority over all its assets. And BNC says it still intends to pay its employees, but the timing is unclear right now and employees are suffering for it. Delon Seller started working for Black News Channel in May of last year, handling social media and reporting on issues like COVID, abortion rights, and social justice. I wanted to be the vessel to be able to make this news make sense for the people in my community. After two rounds of layoffs within a month and what sellers call the poor communication about the company folding, she left BNC nine months after starting. I no longer felt safe at that point. I could tell there was something going on, um, something that they weren't communicating to us. So I felt like it was time for me to try to kind of protect myself and get out while I could. Last month, BNC sent a letter to employees announcing it would file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and cease operations. So when you file, there's an automatic stay. Everything stops. It's a freeze frame. And from that point forward, the court has jurisdiction over the debtor and the debtor can't do things without court permission. That includes paying employees for any outstanding time worked until legal matters are settled, says Gary Freed, an employment attorney. 11 Alive obtained an email sent out by BNC to employees stating the company would not be able to pay them Friday for the week of March 19th through 25th, as previously promised. If they don't have the money, then the court and a trustee can look backwards into what happened to the funds of the company and where they went. BNC's email goes on to state that, quote, we do recognize the hardship this delay may cause and thank you for your continued patience during what is understandably a challenging and difficult time for everyone. Seller says the payments can't come soon enough to spell relief for hundreds of former BNC employees. There are people who are still trying to pay their bills. They still have bills due. They have children that they have to feed, so they're relying on this money. BNC says it is now working to get restructured, possibly become a viable business once more should the right investor come along. But Freed says about 80% of companies that file for bankruptcy eventually fail. Now coming up at six, his advice for anyone whose company files for bankruptcy and delays their payment. Jeff. Joe, you really got a feel for all of those employees who are waiting for the money that they deserve from doing the services that were rendered.